Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Night Crew Hyper Reef 150 and 100 uh, 3D printed light shades. Basically, it's an item that uh, bolts to the bottom of your lighting, uh, keeping it focused down into the tank instead of spreading throughout the room. Appreciate everybody who requested this item as well as all the sales thus far. And shout out to the guy who sent me the 100 because I didn't have one in stock. He actually sent his lighting from his reef tank uh, over so I can make the light shade. So I really do appreciate that effort and support. So uh, with that, we're going to be looking at the light shade on the 150 here over the frag system, as well as um, give you guys an update on the lighting since that is one of my more requested videos because it is a budget lighting and it is a budget channel and you guys are always asking me about that kind of lighting. So we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons and just my overall thoughts on budget lighting uh, within the reef hobby. So uh, before we get started, I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, if you guys are supporting the channel and you want to support the channel, make sure you are subscribed. I think like 70% of you guys are watching but not subscribed, so please uh, subscribe to the channel as well as give uh, the content a thumbs up. It does kind of help me with the algorithm and YouTube might like me again. We'll kind of see how that works out. But either way, appreciate all the support for those of you who are subscribed thus far. Now, the second thing here is I will be at Reef of Palooza Orlando next month. Um, I will be in Florida April, I think, 18th through the 22nd, something like that. Already booked the flight, booked the hotel, good to go. I will be at Geo's Reef's booth. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, Geo's Reef is one of the major sponsors on this channel. Um, we got his sump, we got the calcium reactor, we got all sorts of stuff from him. Um, I will be at his booth, helping him out and hanging out with you guys, socializing, kind of being a, the, the social butterfly that I am so well known for, right? Um, <laughs> speaking of that, I haven't been to a reefing show. I haven't been, reef, reef, been to Reef of Palooza since like 2018, so kind of a little overdue for that. So looking forward to getting out there and meeting uh, all you guys. So just come up, say hi, and depending on what we got going on after the show, maybe we'll hang out, maybe we'll do something. We'll see kind of how the day goes, right? So with that, uh, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started, right? All right, so when it comes to the Nikru Hyper Reef 150, uh, the light shade in general, uh, I guess it's a little blue there, so let's go and look at this one first. It's actually two pieces. Now, just I had to do that just because my largest printer is like 13 by 13 by 15, something like that. Either way, I wasn't able to print it one piece. I really would have liked to do that no matter how I angled it. It just wasn't going to print unless I put it on its side and then it would have printed pretty weird. But either way, it's two pieces that uh, kind of come together. You can glue these if you so choose. You don't have to. I did add some middle supports here um, because I didn't want it to bow or flex or anything like that. Um, so it just kind of slips up under the light. You can see there's a little rim there. It slips up over the light or under the light. And um, you can go ahead and take your four screws out the bottom right here. You can take those out because I will be sending four 14 millimeter screws that will replace that to compensate They're a little bit longer. They will compensate for the plastic here and you'll be good to go. Um, now when it comes to the 100, it is just one piece. Same thing, you'll get the screws, all the good stuff for that. And a simple bolt underneath and it works out good. So I'll try to get some more pictures. For those of you who have ordered them so far, uh, feel free to send me some pictures on, on my email, fishfx at gmail.com. I'll add them to the website and that kind of goes for everything else. Leave reviews, leave pictures. It just kind of helps other people see it um, and saves me some uh, some time. So I appreciate that. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see it over here on the light. It is going to be blue. I do apologize. Um, but it does fit quite well. It just slips underneath there. Um, this version was uh, the last one. I, last modification I had to make was a little bit wider here to kind of compensate for there's a, you can see a little bit of light through, through that. On the updated version, you're not getting the light. So um, I fixed that. Of course, test printing is just part of it. Fitment is, is part of it when it comes to uh, 3D printing. So worked out pretty good and we do have our um, light mounts as well um, I, I think I have like seven or eight different versions of these now appreciate you guys asking for those um, we're like with 20 40 20 80 all that kind of um, piping now so but either way it slips underneath there and this is gonna be super blue but uh, yeah squeaky squeaky um, but you can see it on the back wall you can see the light is splashing up on this one no splashy over here so it does its job now, I might keep this on the frag tank. I just have to kind of get some more par numbers once I put the second one on the other light just to kind of see how much spread, because it is pretty low to the lighting, right? I mean, low to the tank. So I don't know how much spread I'm getting on the edges. If I'm losing too much light, um, I probably will take them off and just keep them back up there, kind of like I have my AP700, which is splashing a ton of light on the back wall, but it is covering the entire tank. So that's kind of the whole point. And that is super blue. But uh, yeah, so if you guys want to uh, check them out, fishofhex.com. As you guys know, it's buy three, get one free on all 3D printed items at checkout. Just add four to the cart and one of them will be free. All right, so that will be on there. I'll find a link, whatever, put in the description for you guys to check them out. All right, so light shade, check, 
all ready to go. Now let's go ahead and talk about budget lighting in general. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you've probably seen a 300 and be like, hey, there's no budget lighting on this. You had XR15s, now you have Kessels. It's like, I don't know, six grand worth of lighting. It's not budget lighting. But if you were here previously, if you've been here from the beginning, I had the 125, which was entirely DIY. It's how the channel started. Um, you know, everything was DIY, budget-wise, and uh, I just didn't want to go that route for the 300. That's it. But I will tell you right now, if I didn't have the option of Kessels or Radions, I would put Night Crews on the 300 all day, every day. I don't know if I said that the right way, but I would do that no problem because the Night Crews grow coral. They simply do. SPS, LPS, soft corals, they grow coral. No issues whatsoever. Now, I know I did a side-by-side -side comparison on coloration between the Kessel AP700 there and the Night Crew 150 on a specific green hide nephora from jason fox and yes the ap 700 had better coloration but listen at the end of the day it does not matter if your budget dictates that you can only afford the 150s the night crews 100 150s and i think they have a single puck a, a 50 if your budget tells you that you can only afford that then do it okay let me just give you guys kind of an example of the things that i've seen so i tell you that because I, I've been around the block, and I'm not just talking sexually. I'm talking in this hobby. I have seen people, I shit you not, spend $25,000, $30,000, dollars on a reef tank. I mean, big money, high end, insane amount of money on a reef tank, and couldn't grow SPS to save their life. They just could not, okay? And then you had the joker down the road who did all DIY, got a 40 breeder, drilled that thing, had the, the, the budget, everything you can imagine and he's growing high-end acros out of the water. So listen, your your equipment, yes, good equipment, high-end equipment does allow things to be a little bit easier. Is it easier to run a reef tank? All right, so I do apologize about that. My gimbal decided to take a shit, so we're back. Um, now, what I was saying is, uh, is it easier to run a reef tank with an Apex, which costs quite a bit of money? Is it easier to run a reef tank with that? Yes. Do you need an Apex to run a reef tank? Absolutely not. You're going to be successful without one? Yes, you're going to be just fine. Uh, the likelihood of something bad happening and catching it on time? Not as likely because you don't have an Apex, but again, the, the, you don't need one to be successful. Now, I guess we can kind of, let's look at the 300 for a minute, because even though it looks like crap, it's still better than uh, just pure blue, I guess. Now, um, with that, do you need to have the best lighting to grow the corals out of the water to be perfect and best coloration? Absolutely not. You don't need that kind of stuff, and that's the whole point. Um, if your budget dictates that you can only afford budget lighting, then do it. If you guys know the 125, I had SP Reef Lights, I had Aqua Mars, I had Knock Off, um, T5 fixtures from Petco. I had a whole bunch of stuff that was low end, and I still grew a ton of coral in that tank. So, uh, if I can do it, you can definitely do it, all right? So, oh, there's Ginger. What's up, dude? Do that. Anyway, she's, oh, man, she's going to get into the tank. Watch, she's going to stick her paws on the refugium and then fall into it, and then we're going to have a problem. Maybe. Anyways, back on topic here, trying not to get cat distracted. Point is, you don't need a ton of money to be successful, and if you're lighting, if you can only get these Nycrew Hyper Reefs, then get them. You're going to be just fine. Don't worry about it, okay? Now, there's always going to be a guy in the comment section, the whole gung-ho, brand name this and brand name that. Fuck that guy. If he's got, if, you, if someone gives you shit about what lighting you have in this hobby, they clearly have nothing else going on in their lives. You can tell them to pound sand and just keep it moving. Block them. Keep it going. Don't, don't worry about it. Some people get butthurt about that stuff. Just don't worry about it, okay? It's your life. It's your money. It's your it's your hobby. Who cares what anybody else thinks, all right? Except for me. you got to care what I think, all right? So with that, uh, the video is done. I think I'm done. I'm gonna done rambling. I think I gotta edit the crap out of this because I lost my bipod and tripod and gimbal died and all sorts of things. So, anyways, hopefully you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you have budget lighting, definitely uh, let me know what you've done so far. If you want to send pictures my way, maybe we'll do like uh, maybe we'll do a video of those of you who have budget lighting. We'll just just do like a, a bunch of picture slideshow talking about kind of seeing what your tanks are doing, how the corals growing, stuff like that. If you want to send that stuff to me um, with your name, if you want to be known or you want to be said your name, all that kind of stuff, just let me know and uh, maybe I'll put something together like that. But either way, you're going to be fine. All right. So with that, uh, yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to get back to work and uh, appreciate every one of you. All right. Peace.